Just in a major roadblock for tolls, that hot topic coming before the Connecticut House of Representatives just this afternoon. Yeah, but after about an hour of impassioned debate today, the issue did not come up for a vote, but is expected to be brought up again in the special budget session happening later this month. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis live tonight to explain this new strategy at the Capitol. Mark. Yeah, hi, Darren, and Ann. good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. A new strategy, because after the last election, you know, we have a narrower margin in the House of Representatives with 79 Democrats and 72 Republicans, so it's much more difficult to pass controversial measures. So the leadership is deciding to allow the debates, but then not call for a vote. Whether you're talking about Bridgeport or Stanford or New Haven, this is a tax on those that can least afford it. After passing the so-called lockbox constitutional amendment to require all money raised for transportation be spent on transportation, House leaders moved ahead with debate on one of the most controversial topics of the General Assembly session, clearing the way for the DOT to decide where to impose electronic tolling gantries like these on highways across the state. Let's do this, Bill. Let's do the responsible thing for the people of Connecticut. Let's make sure that our infrastructure is put in place properly that will help families and businesses alike. Tolls are going to come eventually, folks. We all know it. So let's bite the bullet and do it now. This is asking too much, what I've seen, too much of Connecticut residents. The plan calls for a five cent reduction in the Connecticut gasoline tax over a five year period after the state's special transportation fund is replenished from the toll revenue. But opponents say that would result in Connecticut residents overpaying to use their roads. When we enacted or took away the tolls back in uh, the uh, 80s, we raised the gas tax 25 cents, reduced the gas tax 25 cents, and then we could talk about putting in tolls. I think this proposal, which purports to bring in all this wonderful revenue and solve the transportation problems for Connecticut, is hoodwinking taxpayers. Well, as Darren said, the presumption is that this issue, this topic, will come up again during the special budget session because, of course, money is involved. The Speaker of the House uh, is planning to use the same strategy on another hot-button issue, recreational marijuana. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.